And back here in Lagos, wife of a medical doctor, Olufemi Olaleye of Optimal Cancer Care Foundation, has told the sexual offences and domestic violence court sitting in Ikeja her motive for filing a complaint of defilement against him. Adiremi Olaleye told Justice Ramon Oshodi that evil is evil, no matter the perpetrator, and that she was speaking out to protect their daughter and other females. Kemi Foladiemo has more. The defilement case against Dr. Femi Olaleye resumed on Monday with the Lagos State Government represented by the Director of Public Prosecutions, Obajide Martins, presenting his principal witness. Mrs. Fagwemi Olaleye has been married to the defendant since 2011. They both have a 10-year-old daughter and a 7-year-old son. According to the first prosecution witness, the survivor, her second cousin, who turned 18 in March 2022, lived with them between December 2019 and July 2022. She claims the survivor, whose names are withheld, confessed to an aunt, to the witness, and the family driver on how the defendant allegedly sexually molested her between March 2020 and November 2021, and that he also allegedly introduced her to pornography as well as oral and penetrative sex. The businesswoman added in court that she reported the matter to the police at the Anthony area and that when the DPO, who turned out to be his patient, confronted him with the allegations, he broke down in tears and admitted to having carnal knowledge of the survivor. The witness says her daughter also later told her she once saw the defendant undress the survivor. According to the witness, her husband was given administrative bail by the police after signing an undertaking that he would seek professional help and stay away from his family pending further investigation. She also says her husband checked himself into a rehabilitation home where he was diagnosed with suffering from sexual addiction. She says the psychologist there also told her that if he didn't conclude his treatment, he could suffer a relapse and endanger his daughter or other members of the society. She also claims the defendant at the time of the alleged crimes usually gave her pills to use at night, saying he told her they would help her relax and avert blood clots. During her cross-examination, lead defense counsel Obatunde Ogala, a senior advocate of Nigeria, asked the witness if her husband signed off ownership of his Mercedes car to her whilst in detention, but she denied it. The defense also presented some video clips which were played in court of the witness beating the survivor, but she said she was only disciplining her and that it was before her cousin spoke out on the allegations. After her testimony, Justice Oshodi disqualified a second witness from testifying for the state government after it was discovered that he was present during the testimony of the defendant's wife. Further hearing continues on Wednesday, December the 21st. Kemi Foladiemo, TBC News, Lagos.